Okay, what is up, my fighter friends? My name is Darren Nixon. I serve as one of your growth consultants here at Fight Up. This evening, we have Brother Ronald Stovall, the immediate past and 28th regional vice president for the Midwestern region. This evening, guys, we're going to be diving into what we call some fired up talk. Oh, absolutely. And thank you. Thank you, Brother Nixon, for the time. As mentioned, I'm Ronald Stovall, the immediate past Midwestern region vice president of Alpha Fight Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And I am a 21-year active member of this organization, initiated through the Theta Tall chapter in Flint, Michigan, which I'll be proud to share some information about and currently maturing at Theta Tall Lambda. I am a senior global manager of Rockwell Automation. We're the leader in, in automation and uh, big data and security for, for, our, for our customers. We are about brand integrity. We're about growth and, and development. So the first question we have this evening is, as an MPHC organization, why did you find it important to partner with FIDA? In my experience as a member of the organization and as, as a leader, we made it a point to listen very intently to what our college brothers were saying. And one of the things that came out during the course of my time that we need to really focus on our, our branding, our marketing position, our areas in which we can, when looking at potential options, there's always the allure of doing things in house. There are companies out there that can help us and guide our path forward and, and train our thinking to really market who we are as an organization to entities on campus. And so when we heard of Fired Up, the fact that they were led by members of our D9 organization, so they understood us. They knew what we needed to look at. They spent time and research in, into marketing um, our organizations to the community. It was a match made in heaven because we didn't have to spend the time to explain our needs. Fired Up knew what they were. We moved right into the execution phase of how we can begin to use the tools to you know, create that that value proposition of organizations to members on campus. Being a, a recent graduate and having worked with various companies that have been in spaces and rooms where I had people who didn't look like me or share the same lived experiences as me, and I know how that hindered my receptiveness to them. So I really love how you emphasize the importance that. Specifically speaking for our CBFO, it's important that when we have people who look like us and share the same experience with us, it makes things a little easier. And so that leads us into our second question. So not only did you decide to partner with Fired Up, but after your initial contract was over, you, you decided to renew your contract. And so what inspired the renewal of the contract? The renewal for me always comes down to how intent is the company to providing the services that they all that you know, they're offering. And Fired Up was out the gate, you know, talking about how we can continue to use the tools using common sense practices to engage. You know, they they showed us Chapter Builder and how in Chapter Builder, for instance, that you can, you know, list out the members, you can communicate directly to the prospective members, you can provide a a grade or a rating to the engagements. All the things that we used to do or would try to do on a, on a pen and paper if we were diligent about doing the work that we had now in this in this tool that we can pass between you know chapters so now there's no longer a need for me to you know remember did I give this particular you know prospective member an A did I give this person a D what notes that put down for this person I can now have it there and then I can share it with down in my lineage or even to other chapters to say, hey, this person didn't necessarily make it with us. However, we view them in this light. We, we believe this is the a good individual for you to talk to. It, it may bringing us together as an organization even more palatable because we had a means to do it, you know, electronically. So that, along with the energy that um, Fire brought to the table, you know, working directly with. Uh, Ms. Tanea McGee, who in every call and engagement, as you all know, is no pun intended, fired up about the engagements and and, and making this reality. That it made renewal an easy decision. One hundred percent, and we and we appreciate and we'll continue to appreciate our partnership with the Midwestern Region, which kind of leads me into our last question during our time this evening: is 
in your opinion, what are some of the Midwestern regions, what we call kind of growth highlights that you think is important to share with the individuals who may watch this interview? We have specific targets with respect to what we wanted to see out of any marketing membership growth tool. We had a few chapters that were in dire straits, chapters that were either at zero members or on the brink of zero. My chapter of initiation, Theta Tau, is one of those chapters. And we we intently wanted to put this to the test for our benefit, um, more so than, you know, testing fired up, we was really testing our members to see if they were really buy into this. And we had two chapters in Michigan specifically, one being uh, Epsilon chapter, which is the fifth house university in Michigan. And as I mentioned, Theta Tall at, uh, at Kerry University, both of which with the efforts of our district leadership, with the efforts of our college brothers on the ground, really bought into the messaging. There were sessions that were held you know, either bi-weekly or on a monthly basis is giving tools and tips on how to market, how to use Chapter Builder. And these two chapters used it and went from Epsilon being at zero members to now being at, you know, four to five members, you know, with the use of Chapter Builder and Fired Up. They had all being from one to two members, you know, hanging and dangling on the thread to moving up to seven to eight members. It really proved that with the right guidance, with the right tools and resources, that it doesn't take multiple years to bring a chapter up. It can happen within one session. It can happen within, you know, two sessions in a year, but we can do it. And those are just two of the growth opportunities that we saw. And, and for me, really just stood out to say, this is legit. And this is something that we should continue to endeavor and engage in. Uh, 100%. So I greatly, greatly appreciate you sharing those highlights. And I think, you know, one about the chapter, the success with Chapter Builder, and two, the success with the Theta Tall chapter. As stated before, at the beginning of this call, brother, so while we greatly appreciate your time, and we hope that the individuals that watch this call understand the importance of learning more about strategic recruitment. And while it may be something untraditional for our culturally based fraternal organization, that is definitely worth it, and that our partnership with the Midwestern region definitely emphasizes some tangible aspects of partnering with Fired Up. So, Brother Stovall, once again, we greatly appreciate you. Thank you.